Isn't it something? He's the richest kid in the world. And uh, his life isn't going to be worth it. Mrs. Chadwick, Mrs. Livingston, I'm so delighted that you're here. Thank you so much, Matt. But is Lucinda here? Oh, um, there she is. Look, Mrs. Livington, she's brought him with her. <laughs> oh, oh, is that him? Oh, it must be. Lucinda, dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> Your Grace, I'd like you to meet my very dear friend, uh, Mrs. Constance Livingston. Call me Connie. Oh, no, a lady of your distinction should always be called Constance. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Uh, Estelle Chadwick. <laughs> Estelle. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yes, ladies, this is Osgood Star, the seventh Duke of Edgeley. <laughs> I'm just so glad we could all meet here this afternoon. Yes, and of course, you all know Vicky Buchanan. <laughs> Hi, Estelle. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Constance. I think Mr. Vernon has a really remarkable establishment for these parts. Mm. You know, I think when you can get a really crisp cucumber sandwich and a pot of Earl Grey tea, then civilization is spread just that much further. Don't you agree, ladies? <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Yes, this place is going to be really popular, I'm sure of it. Oh, sure. I am too. <laughs> Ladies, so. why don't we go and see? I think some little cakes over there do not be interesting. I don't know how I'll ever repay you two ladies. Oh, all the credit goes to Lucinda for this. I have a feeling this lady does six impossible things every morning before breakfast. No, that's not quite true. No, it sometimes takes me a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he for real? Oh my, yes, but he's got the bluest blood on seven continents. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you certainly pulled this course. together, Nick of Time. Hi, I'll talk to you later. Sam! Hello! Hi! Ah, uh, you won't believe this, but Lucinda just pulled a real live duke right out of the hat. Really? Mm-hmm. Osgood is a duke? That's right. Mm-hmm. Wow. In the flesh. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, he doesn't look like a duke. <laughs> <laughs> now, how would you expect a duke to look? Well, let's see. Um, I've always thought of them as uh, hunters, you know, all hunting and, and pistols at dawn and falcons and things. <laughs> well, my dear, believe me, the only thing that Osgood Star ever hunted was a vintage bottle of wine from his wine cellar. That's a famous wine cellar. Why, he wouldn't hurt a fly if the fly woke him up in the middle of the night insulting his ancestry. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, would you? Sure. Well, I'm sure Jenny will be glad to hear all that when she meets him. <clears throat> yes. He still looks awfully like his brother, Brad. Well, I told her about him. I didn't want her to be too shocked. Yeah. Well, that's nice. You're looking after her. Of course. <laughs> Where is she anyway? I hope she's going to be here. Well, if she's not substituting for somebody at the hospital again, she should be here any minute. Good. <laughs> and then you see, as a child, I was kidnapped. Oh, what? Really? Oh, yes, held for <gasps> ransom. Yes, I mean, a most unpleasant experience. <laughs> of course, I was a tot, you see, so I thought it was just a wonderful adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, uh, something wrong? Uh, no, no, not, not really. It's just that my husband is having a much better time over there than I thought he was going to have. Mm -hmm. Would you excuse me a moment? I'm just going to go over there and check and see what's in his teacup. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I gotta go meet that winner. Reception at the Vernon Inn. You, uh, gonna be all right? Yep. I have to be, so I will be. Yeah. Thanks, you're a good friend. Oh, I don't want visitors now. Well, wait a minute, let's just see. Aha! Hi. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. I no, 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 come on in, come to on in. There's some reinforcements out of here. Now I gotta run. You know where to call me when you okay. need me, right? Thank you. Okay, baby. See you. Maybe I'll see you at the reception. Yeah, fine. Can we sit down? Yeah, sure. So, how are you feeling? Any better? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Which is rather strange, because in my life before, I've always known what I was doing, and that's how I cope with everything, but this is just so different. Um, how come? I don't know. I just always before changed my behavior or the way I had my attitude towards something, and it was okay. But I can't change this. So what can I do? Well, you can fight it, and I want to help you. No, I don't want to fight it. I'm tired. I've fought all my life. I want to find a way to just kind of move ahead. And you're going to do that. You know, four years ago, I was in a real pit, and I said to myself, can I get myself out of this? 
can I wait on tables? And yeah, I did that. I got myself out of it. And then I said, can I support my daughter and take care of her by myself? And yeah, I could do that. And then I said, can I get up early in the morning and go to bed and late at night because I'm working so hard to make a good life for us? Yeah, I can do that. And you've done it. Yeah, but I can't spend the rest of my life having dirty little rumors follow me all over the place. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, that's, that's why I came back over. I am... Um... You know, I just, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to find out how the, the people down in Florida uh, knew about your past, so I, I called the catering company and asked them. What did they tell you? It seems that somebody sent them a newspaper clipping. It was the article about when you were arrested, and it was postmarked from Landview. Who would do something like that to me? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Mommy, Mommy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Oh, Jenny. Hi, darling. Did you have a good nap? I had a dream. Someone was hurting Mommy. That's exactly what it was, a bad dream. Nobody's going to hurt your Mommy. I promise. Here's that uh, affidavit from Doc Gilmore. Oh, yeah. We're in. He testifies that he saw Alec Lowndes receive the payment from one Gust House. Mm-hmm. And here's another one from Arnie Costco. Ah, uh -huh. affidavit stating he saw narcotics in Alec Lowndes' locker. Well, that, that's quite a set of facts there, good. Yeah, it sort of stacks the deck, huh? Yes, I, I think that Alec will have to give great consideration to keeping the bearer of these documents happy. Like, uh, throwing a game? Oh, Gus. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? We don't refer to it that way. It's simply that a man has not performed to his max. I mean, we're all human, right? Right, right, right. But, uh, Alec Lowndes always does do his best. I mean, even through the injuries and everything, he's out there giving it all he's got. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, we've got, uh, fixing a game. We have uh, bribery, we have the illegal possession of narcotics. Now, any one of those charges could have him bounce right out of the league, right? Well, it sort of doesn't uh, fit the image of the all-American running back, huh? No, I do believe that we have Mr. Clean right in our pocket. Congratulations, guys. I think it's going to be a heck of a good season. <laughs> You have been so busy being the social whiz kid, I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Sit down. Well, okay, just for a second. I still have to oversee things. You're exciting, isn't it? I just wanted to say congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, things are going pretty good, aren't they? Yes. I think we still have a lot of work to do here, but at least the floor isn't collapsing. That makes things a little more manageable somehow. Yes, it does. I see you have uh, the Landview tastemakers here. I don't think we'd see them after the seance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I can't really take responsibility for that. Vicki, uh... Vicky brought her re respectability, and Lucinda landed a real live, die in the wool English duke. Hmm. Mm. Well, they wouldn't all be at the Vernon Inn if you hadn't made it all happen, Brad. True. <laughs> True. And now that we're being truthful, tell me something. Are you still having mixed feelings about opening your club here at the hotel? A few days ago was a little iffy, dear, but what? I think it's going to be just wonderful, really. I do, and, and, and I've been talking to Ina, and we're planning the whole health food restaurant upstairs and everything, and, well, I, you know, we're just going to miss Kat being there. Oh. Well, didn't you hear uh, Kat lost that job down in Florida? Oh, no. Oh, she must be so upset. Well, yeah, but you'll get over it. She has all her friends here, and she can work in the club with Ina, and that means Mary will be here. And that'll yeah. make Jenny very happy. Yeah, we'll... I wonder how Kat feels about us. Oh, there's uh, Ed and Weena. Excuse me, I want to ask her if uh, she'd do a remote here for the opening. Hey, go get them. Can you believe this? Everything's turning out perfect. You paint for a little while, all right? I'm going to talk to Aunt Jenny. Who would do that? Who would sabotage my career? Well, I have a, an idea, and I just want to follow through on it. No, tell me who it is so I can do it. Well, we'll both, we'll both work on it. I'm going to get going. See you later, okay? Take real good care of your mommy. I'll, uh... I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.